Did you ever reach a point where you thought to yourself, can we support our child and stay in Tennessee? Absolutely. Um, I think we've wondered that all along the way. We've hidden this Nashville mother's identity to protect her and her young transgender daughter. She seems very comfortable in who she is. For speaking to us, she risks harassment. For supporting her child, she could one day run afoul of Tennessee law. I am fearful of you know, being targeted, my kids being targeted, um, being determined like an incompetent or um, coercive parent. Um, her five-year-old has socially transitioned. As she gets older, she may one day choose to begin hormone therapies. She likely won't be able to do it in Tennessee. The state leads the U.S. in anti-transgender laws. For literally the first bill of the entire session to be targeting trans kids was angering and saddening. In March, Tennessee Republicans passed a ban on gender-affirming medical care for minors. The law, known as SB1, also forces teens who are already undergoing treatment to stop and detransition. We needed to have more data on this, and in the meantime, I thought we needed to put a halt to it. An adult can decide what treatment they want. They don't care about folks waiting until 18. They just want to ban the care, period. Darren Johnson is a transgender woman and community advocate. She worries the state will soon move to outlaw transgender care for adults, too. We would be uh, creating situations that force our own citizens to be refugees within our own countries. The circle of places, the list of places that folks can go is getting smaller and smaller just to be able to live our lives. What happens next will be decided by the courts. The U.S. Justice Department has sued Tennessee, arguing its laws are both discriminatory and unconstitutional. Without intervention by a judge, Tennessee's ban on transgender care for minors will come into effect July 1st. So at what point do you have to make some tough decisions about whether you can stay here? Our whole approach to all of this is really like to let her lead. We don't want to box her in and say like, you know, this is definitely what's going to happen when she's a teenager and definitely how she's going to be as an adult. Facing so much uncertainty, the parents of transgender children have no choice but to plan for every possible outcome even if it means leaving the place they call home. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Nashville.